All right. We shall move forward then by allowing you to understand that we are delivering this information in two parts. This transmission, tonight of your time, will be part one. Part two will be delivered in your year of 2016. This will be an opening, an introduction to this idea. And in 2016, when we deliver part two, it will contain far more detail, a chart, images to explain in more depth what it is we are describing tonight of your time. But the idea is that there have been placed throughout your solar system artifacts that when you begin to move farther and farther out in your solar system into space as a society, you will come across these artifacts that have been left for you, which will contain information that will allow you more understanding of who and what you are. It will aid and assist in your evolution as you move out into space, give you more ability for greater interaction with other extraterrestrial civilizations, and allow you to peer into some deeper mysteries that will be harbingers, precursors, of things you will encounter out among the stars to give you an opportunity to prepare for those interactions in a deeper way. Now the idea is that they are all pyramid shapes, all these artifacts. Starting with, on your planet of Earth, specifically what you call the Great Pyramid at Giza. That is one of them. There are five of these artifacts. There used to be six. But one of them used to be on the planet that has been referred to in your ancient texts as Marduk or Maldek, which has since been destroyed by cosmic collision and has now represented its remnants as the asteroid belt in your system. But there used to be one of these artifacts upon that planet. The reason that this is still known is that this information comes from very, very, very ancient times and has been handed down and handed down and copied and copied and copied over millennia by many different civilizations. There are very few references to this left in any of your literature, any of your ancient tablets, but there are a few. One in particular, which we will demonstrate to you in part two, is on an old Akkadian tablet, a cylinder seal that is 4,500 of your years old. Thereupon is depicted the exact symbol that tells you about these artifacts and where exactly they are placed in your system. Beginning with the one on Earth, the Great Pyramid of Giza, moving outward from the sun because it is all about expanding outward, the next one is a pyramid that exists on your moon. Now, some people on your planet are already aware of this, of its existence, but this information has not been fully made public. It will one day. <laughs> Nevertheless, that is where the second artifact is of a pyramidal shape that mirrors and matches that of Giza and contains information that will help you on your journey outward through your system toward the stars. The next pyramidal artifact exists on the planet you call Mars. This will contain not only information to help you in your evolution and again aid and assist you in your outward expansion to the stars, but will also contain information that speaks of some of your lost history so that you can really begin to gather back together an understanding of the path that you have taken both physiologically and spiritually that has brought you to this point of transformation on your planet of Earth at this time. Now, as we said, the next artifact would have been on the planet Maldek, but has since been destroyed and is now simply represented by the remnants that you call the asteroid belt. 
But going farther out, the next artifact after the Earth, after your moon, after Mars, is on Saturn's moon of Titan. So there you will find another pyramid that will contain great information at that point that you are capable of reaching that moon of Saturn you will find it will contain many things that you need to understand how you can interact with different kinds of civilizations and how you can also propel yourselves in a new direction, energetically, spiritually, physiologically, as Earth becomes and is becoming in its process what we have termed the sixth hybrid race and how you will be given more information about the different kinds of groups, the different kinds of councils, the different kinds of associations and alliances that Earth potentially can belong to, again, as you claim more and more and more of your heritage and move out farther and farther in your system toward the stars. The final pyramid is on your dwarf planet of Pluto, at the edge of your system. And thus, by the time you reach that one, and understand its mysteries, you will have truly become a full-fledged member of the Interstellar Alliance and will have before you many different kinds of choices that may seem unimaginable to you right now and for which there may not even be adequate description in your language. For you will have changed so greatly by then as a society and as a species as to really make available to you upon the discovery of that final artifact, that final pyramid, many more options than are available to you now that will propel you to the stars in another way and will allow you to understand truly your place in creation and will expand your abilities into the realm that at this point would seem like magic to you. So these artifacts have been placed there for you as markers so you know that you always have assistance, that you will never ultimately forget who you are, no matter what may happen physiologically in your system. There will always be something there that will remind you, put you back in touch, center you with your roots, with your heritage, and also with where you are going, where you are heading, again, both physiologically and spiritually as you connect and expand to more and more and more of your greater being. Does this make sense to you? All right. So as we said in part two, we will go into deeper explanations and have graphs and charts to explain this in more detail. And the reason for this is that there must be a realignment of certain information that has been presented in your society so that you can understand how to look at that information very differently. This is connected to the idea of contact in a variety of ways. And as we present the more detailed explanation in part two in your year of 2016, you will begin to understand more clearly why this information is being presented to your society at this time. For there are many things that are about to happen that will bring about many different kinds of changes in your reality. And having this knowledge and this understanding, even to this small degree, will better prepare you for what is to come. So we present this to you now to wrap your minds around, to just take it in however it is you feel is appropriate for you to take it in, and to know that it will do what it needs to do to lay the foundations within you for clearer understanding of what is to come.